As we come to the end of the year, eight years after the subprime credit crisis, the inadequacy of the big government intervention models on full display from the collapse of Venezuela to double-digit unemployment, economic stagnation in Europe. I mean, Canada's economy hasn't fared much better despite a massive jump in deficit spending, a falling loony, and record low interest rates. I mean, at some point, we have to wake up and answer the question that if governments can snap their policy fingers and produce jobs and economic growth, as they all promise, then why haven't they been able to do it? Of course, big government advocates on the progressive left, on those CBC panels, public sector elites, most in the commentariat have no idea, so they ignore the question. All the promises of job creation and economic growth have failed to materialize, and there's little reason to think that a major turnaround's in the offing. We need a dramatic change in the operational structure of government to labor laws, to public school curriculums, and we need to enhance adult education to help workers adjust and learn new skills. We have a desperate need to revamp and get rid of useless regulations that discourage economic growth, but none of this is on the agenda. The status quo has to change, but the power groups are intellectually incapable or unwilling to take the necessary steps and instead offer more of the same with cronyism thriving, political favors, deals for special interests abound, incompetence is protected, and a lack of accountability in spending tax dollars seems to be the norm. As Einstein warned, the significant problems we face cannot be solved at the same level of thinking we were at when we created them. My name is Michael Campbell, and I wish you all the best for 2017.